Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie, and for today's video, as you read from the title, we're doing an unboxing. So I know this video is a little late in the week, um, and maybe a little late in the month. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when this arrived, uh, but... And I know that I kind of missed a few posts, but to be honest, work's been very overwhelming. The holidays were overwhelming. I just, there's been a lot going on. Uh, not so much personally, everything there's kind of good. Just work's been stressful, so I just needed a little break at the end of the month, uh, coming into this month. But uh, hopefully I will be back to posting regularly soon. It's just. I mean, I think a lot of my viewers are fellow horror YouTubers. You guys kind of know how it is. Sometimes you just get a little drained. You need a moment. So I'm letting myself have a moment. But we're back with another unboxing. This one's a bit weird. Um, it came in just a plain box. Usually they come in a big black box that says the band box on it. Um, but I understand, you know, shit happens. You run out of boxes. Uh, but we're just gonna go ahead and just open this, baby. Okay. So, as always, comes with the little band box sheet. Toss that on the floor. So let's go ahead and just get into grabbing stuff. Okay, so this got a little fucked up. Or maybe it's supposed to be bent, I don't know. This is a license plate that says a groovy. Uh, I can only imagine, and I'm guessing, that this is like an Ash versus Evil Dead or Evil Dead related thing. The only thing I can think of since Groovy, but maybe it's from something else. We'll find out at the end of the video, or I'm sure some of you are shouting. I gotta find out if you can actually put stuff like this like on your car. I live in a state where you don't have to have both license plates on, so maybe I can put it on the front. I don't know. Pretty cool. Put that down. Okay, next item is a little pen. So, you guys know I love these. I always talk about how much I love these. This, not sure to be honest. So this is a December box, this is December 2020. Um, I feel like, I always feel like I get confused as to what these are from. Not always, sometimes I know off the bat, but we'll see. I'll find out at the end of the video, it's pretty usual. Okay, next thing is bassforless.com. Okay, so it's the giveaway thing, so I'll scratch that at the end. Next thing, huh? Okay, that's pretty badass. I obviously know exactly what this is. It's a science fan art card, and it is like that. That is obviously Silence of the Lambs. Um, or it might not be directly Silence of the Lambs, but it's that universe. Hannibal, there we go, Hannibal. It's late, I just got off work. Hannibal Lecter related thing. Um, okay, next thing is another piece of art. Okay, this is Santa's sleigh. Uh, so it is <laughs> basically an evil Santa uh, <laughs> piece of art. You can see it. Um, it's got like this little, not even a reindeer. I'm trying to think of what that is. Anyway, and there's a head on a stick up here and some bodies down there. So that's pretty cool, obviously. Authenticated style. I used to do this on the table and it was a lot easier. But I like filming in my filming room. Trying to get it out very carefully. Okay, and one last piece of art. Oh shit. Now this is the giveaway thing. Nice! Okay, so this is from Silent Night, Deadly Night, part two. And it is a signed piece of art. Um, it says punish. That is pretty badass. It is definitely a very cool December piece. Um, and it's taped, so I don't know. Okay, so it does slide out if you want to. But, okay, that is definitely very fucking cool. I love that. So let's go ahead and dig into its reading. 
So it says Celebrity Autograph, which is that from Silent Night, Deadly Night. So it looks like there were a couple options and we got the level up version. Very awesome. I generally, I think, I don't know if everybody gets one level up item, but I like that I generally get a level up item, so that's very cool. Collector's Pen, which of course is this thing. Um, and it says the original, The Hills Have Eyes. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> 1977 put Wes Craven on the map and has since inspired countless other thrillers. Um, and it looks like this is a uh, upgraded ver or a leveled up version as well, which of course should have fucking known that. That is pretty badass. I love that now that I know what that is. Artisty Alley, uh, which is that Santa. Um, it looks like there's a few versions of that as well. Um, we just got the original version, which is cool. Um, but it says, Santa Slay is one of the cult classics that showed an entire new side of Santa while also showing us that Bill Goldberg can play a terrifying killer. So I have not seen that one, but I feel like I've heard of it. I definitely, when I saw that, I was like, I kind of recognize that, but I didn't want to say anything um, just in case. It was just a, a result piece of art, but I'll have to check that one out. Um, kind of bummer is that December is over now because I didn't get to watch that. Okay, so then the prop item, which is the license plate, and I was correct on that. It's the original Evil Dead trilogy. It's one of our favorite horror franchises. So when Ash vs. the Evil Dead gave us even more of Bruce Campbell blowing away Dead Knights with quippy one-liners, we were in heaven. Slice and Splay perfectly sums up what we love about the Evil Dead series. So, <laughs> I got one. Well, I got multiple of these, right? But I was very happy I got that right. That's definitely awesome. Uh, I love that. And the Archer's Artist Selected card, which of course is the uh, Hannibal Lecter thing. Says, what a better way to end our year long dual series than by bringing you two iconic villains facing one another? Professional artist Todd Purnell, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, brought us Buffalo Bill last month and now ends his set with the insane Hannibal the Cannibal. Okay, yeah, I'll have to pull out my Buffalo Bill card somewhere. I really have to figure out how to set all this stuff up. I plan on getting another bookcase so that I can do stuff like that. But that's fucking awesome. And it looks like we got the original version with the blue background. The level up has a red background, but I kind of like the blue. I feel like he stands out a little bit more against that. So that is awesome. That is a pretty badass box. Let's try to find the card. So I'm definitely loving the this box. This band box, you definitely impressed me uh, for December. Even though everything didn't come in this box and my license plate a little bit, it's okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do scratch off. So you have to match three to win. So free art upgrade. Free flat screen TV. Damn, that would have been nice. Free pin upgrade. No, didn't win. That's okay. Maybe one day. Maybe one day I will win. That's okay. Uh, yeah, I loved that. I was pretty damn impressed by that box. I've been generally pretty impressed with Bam Box so far. I like most of what they give me. Um, I don't know if I've come across a too much of a disappointing box yet, but that one I'm definitely very, very impressed with. Um, I'd have to say my signed uh, Werewolf in London thing is still probably one of my absolute favorite uh, items that I've gotten, but that was still a very impressive, great December box. So let me know what you guys think of this box. Um, let me know what some of your favorite items are. If you got the BAM box, let me know if you get any upgrades in yours and what your favorite item was from it. And I will see you guys again later with another video. Bye!